I can't see too well from a distance, so I needed to get glasses. But I've learned to love mine. Today's look is really, really simple, but it'll give my fellow four eyes a few good beauty tips. My glam bag came in the mail today, so a few of the products that I'll be using in this video might just look a little familiar to you glammies. Okay, so first things first, we want our makeup to last and look fresh for as long as possible, so I'm going to be smoothing on a primer before my foundation. This one is by Marad and it's tinted, which is really nice because it makes me use less foundation. I want my skin to look fresh and natural, so I'm using a foundation with a slightly dewy finish and I'm applying that with my Beauty Blender sponge. Nobody's perfect and it's no secret that I can get a blemish or five every now and then. Plus, I like to stay up really late, so I have dark circles under my eyes. And sometimes glasses can cast shadows or just magnify things, which doesn't help the situation. But that's no big deal when you have a really good concealer in your makeup bag. I'm applying this one from Sheer Cover using the concealer brush from my May Glam Bag. I still want to maintain that fresh, dewy look, so I'm going to be using a creamy cheek stain. This one is by Tarte and it's in Natural Beauty. It's just going to give you a really nice, natural flush that lasts and doesn't look powdery at all. The worst thing about glasses is that they can smudge the foundation around the bridge of your nose. And while that just might happen no matter what you use, I find that the damage is a lot less noticeable when you use a mineral powder to set your foundation in place. Plus, mineral powders don't over mattify the skin, so for the hundredth time, I was going for a really fresh, dewy finish that day. I'm reaching into my glam bag for the liner brush. Now, when it comes to wearing glasses, you'll want to make sure that your eyes don't get lost behind the frames. So defining them with some liner might just be something you'll want to do. But wait! I almost forgot about the eyeshadow. When you wear glasses, it's not too important to get too fancy with eyeshadows. When I wear mine, I like to keep things relatively simple as probably no one will be able to see much of my eyelids anyway when I'm wearing them. As you can see, I just put on a nice little vanilla color all over my lids, and then worked a soft brown eyeshadow into my crease just for some subtle definition. Piece of cake, right? Okay, back to the eyeliner. With my My Glam eyeliner brush, I'm tracing on a black gel liner, my old favorite from MAC, along my top lash line. Now how thick the liner should be depends on the thickness of your glasses. The thicker the frames, the thicker the line can be. Mine are kind of in a thin to medium thickness range, so I'm going to go for a medium thickness with my liner as well. If there's one thing you can go crazy with when wearing glasses, it's lashes. Just make sure you give your mascara some time to dry before putting on your glasses so you don't dirty the lenses. I speak from experience. Curl your lashes, add lots of black mascara to your top and bottom lashes, and hey, if the look is too boring for you, throw on some falsies too. YOLO. Okay, so your glasses frame your eyes, but your brows frame your face. Using a brow pencil, lightly fill in your brows. If your frames are kind of squared off like mine are, try to keep the arch soft and subtle. If you wear those frameless lenses, feel free to give yourself a high dramatic arch, do whatever you want. Just really keep in mind, balance is key. If you get really annoyed with foundation smudging around your nose, here's my secret, but now not so secret weapon. Urban Decay's makeup setting spray and a cosmetic sponge. Just spritz them onto the sponge and dab it around the bridge of your nose where your glasses sit. Your foundation won't move a muscle. You can stop here with the face painting if you'd like, most of the times I do, but not this time. I needed just a little bit more color, so I took the bright pink Studio Gear lipstick and dabbed that onto my lips. I used my fingers to blend it in for that just bitten look. And if you still don't feel sexy and feminine when you wear your glasses, just add perfume. That always puts me right back in my girly ladylike spirits. This one is Philosophy's Falling in Love. You should have gotten a sample of that with your May Glam bags. And there you have it. The makeup is complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Jessica Harlow. I'm kind of obsessed with Instagram right now. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. The song that's playing in this video is Fortune Cookie by Jay Loftus. Inside. Inside.